Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're here for the first time. Um, today we're going to talk about why I sold my Ursa Mini 12K Pro and what I'm getting in place of it. All right guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Why I sold my Ursa Mini 12K Pro. First of all, let's first let's go back and and talk about first of all why I bought it. I never got the Ursa 12K Pro to shoot projects like um, for commercial work or stuff like that. I had said I wanted it for my movie. I was pretty close to shooting my my first movie, um, which was um, I think it was 2021. I think it was 2022 when I was ready to shoot my movie. We had everything planned out, uh, almost planned out. We were working on it seriously. And um, while we were, you know, thinking about the camera to use, uh, Blackmagic um, reduced the price of the Ursa from 10, 10K to six, about 6,000. I didn't want to go ahead and be renting, but I felt like that's enough for me to make any movie on any level. And I still feel the same way today, but I would rather let it go than help it make it collect dust. The main reason why I got the camera, and once again, to be clear, was to shoot my movie. However, when we got around to shooting the movie, when we got around to sourcing for location and we were, you know, walking towards, there wasn't a date fixed for the shooting, but we were just going around making arrangements and, and trying to scout locations and cast and crew and and i reached out to some people some close mentors uh, including my professors in school full State university where i where i graduated from from cinematography uh, i reached out to them i gave them an idea of where the script was and heading to and all that and everyone seemed to say the same thing you have a great script. Don't let your budget mess it up. And I got that feedback and um, I decided, okay, it's way bigger. The movie is way bigger than I thought. Maybe it's not time. So I needed time to figure out how I was going to raise the money for the movie since it's getting bigger now. And it became more obvious by the day that it wasn't going to be anytime soon. For a while I was using the camera for all my YouTube videos and um, I haven't used it for a project behind the scenes on a, on a movie. I shot uh, about two projects with it and besides that it was YouTube videos. You know, so I was like, you know, my Sony cameras can handle all this project I'm using it for. For the purpose of uh, studio and autofocus and um, uh, uh, podcasts, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. Why not? Why just keep it around? And you know, and also another thought was before the value drops, if I hold on to it, only God knows what other camera will come up by the time I'm ready. Now, for what Black Magic have been doing and supporting us, I had, uh, I had made them, you know, I sort of made my, uh, told myself I was going to use the Black Magic camera for my movie. Um, because I haven't seen um, much done, okay? The, the image is good, everything is good, dynamic range, the resolution, but uh, people are just so used to red and iry that they are not, you know, giving Black Magic a shot. Now, my, my movie is not, Black Magic is not paying me, but I just felt like it's one of those things that, you know, I felt like I should do because they've been supporting us. And when I'm ready, when I'm sure I'm really ready to shoot, I'm going to go ahead and grab the latest. And from what I see, it is most likely going to be the Black Magic Ursa Cine 12K that just came out. I think that's where we're heading to, like I said, I'm not jumping into it and buying it right now. 
Uh, it may end up being the 17 if everything goes well and we can afford it. It may end up being the 17K. Uh, maybe rented, you know. Yeah, we don't know yet, but my job is to keep going ahead and fine-tuning my script and storyline, um, you know, picking more, uh, picking more characters or even better characters than the one I had in mind, um, looking for more locations while I'm still sourcing for funds. And when the time is come, you know, boom, we'll go ahead and get grab the camera that is hot, the camera that is that is most relevant at the point in time. You know, I still want to, you know, get busy and stir up the gift, you know. So, uh, I'm going to be shooting some shots, but I won't need the camera to do that. And I am going to be working on one soon. And for now, I, I am thinking it's going to be the Sony FX3. Uh, I'm going to be working with the Sony cameras for that project. So, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. I didn't want this video to be long. I just wanted you to know that really I didn't sell the camera because I, I was looking for autofocus. No, but I got it in the first place because I wanted to, sh I was getting ready to shoot my movie and the price dropped. So I got it even earlier than I should have, but no regrets. Um, we learn every day. Now I'm, you know, going to take my time, get my script, get my, uh, everything uh, well tailored and corrected and edited and revised. I sold the camera for a camera that is yet to be determined. Okay, let's why let's let's try to understand why I'm sticking to Black Magic now. If anything goes south on production day and I have to handle the camera, maybe it turns out I don't have enough funds to pay everybody or somebody got sick or something goes wrong and the camera guy is not around i can easily jump in and take on the camera myself i can't do that for a red because i haven't shot with the red that much i can't do that with the on the ari because i haven't shot it on an ari at all but on the on the black magic the 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 the, the, the i am good to go almost without any practice just because of the way they have, you know, um, kept their ecosystem and their many systems simple and constant, consistent with the others. All right. So that's just all I came to say. Thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me hear your own feedback um, in the description and uh, see you in the next one.